Hi everyone, welcome, welcome to my channel. I am B, and this is Psychic Sounds by B. This particular episode is for the full moon in Virgo happening on March 9th. All right, thank you so much for all your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. I certainly do appreciate it. Please subscribe, please share. We do want to grow this channel. This channel is full of loving, friendly, supportive people. They are the best. So if you are new and you are joining our family, welcome. Uh, we give each other respect. We give each other a moment if any of us need a moment to express our thoughts. And we are very respectful and kind with one another. So thank you for joining. You are joining a beautiful family. All right. Also, if you would like to get a consultation with me, I am adding more dates tonight. So there will be more dates open tonight for personal consultations. Also, for those of you interested in getting a membership to my website, you get access to all of the extended readings for one low monthly fee. You can cancel anytime you like. There are other um, things that I add. I do extend uh, love, extended love readings on there as well. So you can certainly go there and check it out. All right, we are going to go ahead and we're going to get right into this. This is for all signs of the Zodiac, and this is going to be um, a long transmittal. So please get a cup of coffee, please get your kombucha, please get a glass of wine, whatever it is that you drink or whatever it is that you're munching on, and sit back and enjoy. The full moon is in Virgo on March 9th of 2020 at 11.47 a.m. at 19 degrees. Life path numbers of 1, 7, and 9 will be positively affected with an ending, culmination, or something that gets addressed once and for all. We have a super full moon, also called the worm moon, on this day. Uh, expect there to be a choice between a quick fix or a fast escape from a situation. The full moon opposes Neptune and the sun, so the sun will illuminate what Neptune has been up to, and it will place a bright light for an ending, a culmination, or something that needs to be addressed regarding health and reputation for good or for the not so good. It could be that an ailment must be handled immediately or that an ailment, illness, or condition has reached its peak and is now waning. I feel that people will be getting healthier and stronger. After a bout of confusion regarding health, the ailment lifts or abates significantly. Why? Ever hear the phrase, strong as an ox? Well, with more planets entering Taurus, the collective will start to feel much better. Throat and respiratory issues will clear up quickly, especially as the North Node slowly approaches Gemini and is currently within orb of the third decan of Gemini. Remember what I said about Mercury Retro in Pisces, a great time to detox and get your body prepared for a transformation through healthy eating, a new diet or fitness program, or both. For those of you that started a program around the last week in February, you should be seeing the results now. For those of you that have not taken advantage of the great purge, you can still do so. What a great time to take charge of your life and your health. Get rid of that junk that has been clogging up your mind, your body, and your aura. If your reputation has been flagging or has been questionable, you will want to address this ASAP. Not because something will magically happen with your reputation, but because Venus is entering Taurus, the sign of possessions and self-value. Venus rules Taurus, so those people with planets or heavenly bodies in Taurus between 0 and 8 degrees will be especially blessed around this full moon energy. This energy will have legs for a minimum of 14 days. We also have Uranus conjuncting Venus around this time, so something unexpected may be happening with love. It could be an unexpected I love you. For some, or for others, if you have been trying to get your partner to agree to a divorce and they have been stubborn, they may now, surprisingly, agree to the terms. Regardless of what the surprise is, in the end, the result is quite favorable for all concerned, even though there may be a slight jolt to the energy. We also have Uranus sextiling the North Node at 4 degrees, but also sextiling the South Node. 
There is great support on this day to remove any restrictions, commitments, or obligations that no longer serve you. Think of getting rid of that monthly fee you pay to go tanning that you never use so that you can build up your savings or use that money for something else more appropriate. The element of surprise regarding family or the home is highlighted. So expect a change of plans or something being disrupted out of the blue regarding the actual home, possessions, or family around this time. Whatever this disruption is, just know that it is for the better. With the North Node conjuncting Chiron and Black Moon Lilith, uh, some family members may be a bit rebellious or difficult. So just stay calm and centered. Do not feed into the drama. And um, it's not the North Node. It's Chiron and um, uh, Black Moon Lilith that are conjuncting. So uh, do not feed into the drama. I do not know why I put North Node conjuncting Chiron and Black Moon Lilith. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, so we're going to get into all of these particular energies. So let's get started. Pay attention to March 28th and April 1st through April 4th. Something that was hidden or something that was waiting for a better moment to be revealed is coming. May have to do with love, creativity, illusion, visionaries, research, boundarylessness, documentation, social media, psychic abilities, or even a Pisces or an Aries person. Everyone will be involved with in a discussion or otherwise, or even affected by a Pisces or a Virgo. I do, however, uh, also include the other signs that may impact you um, when I get into your individual sun signs, rising signs, and moon signs. But Pisces and Virgos are definitely, um, you know, very apparent with this particular full moon. So we're going to go ahead and get into the full moon. How is this super moon going to affect you? If you have a rising sun or moon or planets between 14 to 24 degrees of any sign, expect to be affected. The mutable signs, water signs, and earth signs will likely be affected quite positively. Check out your natal chart at astro-charts.com to find out the degrees of your planets in your natal chart. Find out what houses they're in. There's a really good um, birth chart, natal chart, calculator that they have and everything is on one page. Go check it out if you don't know how to do that. You will need your actual time of birth, your location of birth, and obviously your date of birth. We are going to get started with the beautiful Capricorns. Capricorns, you are earth, you are cardinal, and so this particular full moon for you should be positive. You will be affected in your ninth house of foreign people, foreign lands, travel, higher education, the occult, legal, or law. A Sagittarius person may be playing into this energy as well. Some discussion or action, likely about any of these elements just mentioned, will be a topic of focus. Anything foreign of you may appear at this time and quite suddenly. This could even be someone getting a surprise scholarship or admission to an excellent university or even doing very well in school. Was the stalemate or the slump in this area a phase? Looks like it was. Something will be culminating, ending, or be addressed in these areas. Aquarius, for you, you are air, you are fixed, and there is a bit of friction for you, Aquarius. You will be affected in your eighth house of joint finances, intimacy, jealousy, revenge, death, and rebirth. A Scorpio person may be going through a bit of a tough time here. They may not know how to express their feelings. Usually, this is an easy thing for a Scorpio, but for some reason, they're being a little bit reticent to express their feelings. Or perhaps you do not know how to express something to a Scorpio person. I am sensing an internal conflict that needs to be addressed so it can be let go of. You may want to approach discussions with as much love and compassion as possible. As well, you need the same. If you or someone you love or care about have been detached or physically separated, you may feel the need for nurturing, cuddling, intimacy, or having the talk about the future. At a minimum, you may broach the topic to get a good handle on the energy you are dealing with. Pisces, for you, you are a water sign, you are mutable, and this should be a positive uh, aspect for you. You will be affected in your seventh house of the other. A Virgo person may be in the mix here. Also, fairness in business partnerships and romantic partnerships. 
Well, Pisces, right now your partner needs you, probably more than you need them. I am not being hyperbolic. I am just being truthful. You went through hell, as did others in 2019, and now it is over, all right? You are not going back. Pisces, you may very well just be doing your own thing and notice a discrepancy, a big one. Do the right thing, Pisces. Bring it up and get it addressed. Other people are counting on you to do the right thing. Now, your mission, whether or not you choose to accept it, is how can I give love and support without being taken advantage of? With this full moon energy, I can tell you that confidence, boundaries, organization, and reasonable assistance are the ways to go. If you do not go to extremes either way, you should be rather blessed with what is ending, culminating, or being addressed in your business and romantic partnerships. Aries, you are fire, you are cardinal, and there is a bit of friction for you. You will be affected in your sixth house of daily duties, pets, health, and reputation. A Virgo person may be front and center with this energy. For some reason, I am sensing that for the majority of the Aries, your daily life is going through a massive overhaul. Perhaps your kids are more active, or maybe your kids have gone to college and now you are filling time with hobbies and friends. You may decide to get a pet, especially if one just passed. So... You are going through the ending phase and jumping into the culmination phase. One thing is for sure, and that is to mind the details and stay organized. There is a bit of a surprise here, so be gracious and be fair, as your reputation may depend on it, Aries. People are watching you, above you, and below you. Taurus, you are Earth, you are fixed, and this is a positive aspect for you. You will be affected in your fifth house of romance, children, creativity, pets, and risk-taking. Something is culminating, needs to be addressed, or ending in this area. You may have children going off to college or getting ready for registration with summer camp. A Leo person could be affecting this energy with you as well. If you are dating someone, it may get more exclusive. Talks of travel, engagement, marriage. As someone really wants a solid foundation with someone they can have fun with and who likes kids. Married couples will be talking about needing more romance or more date nights. You may get a new pet if one just passed. You have very similar energy to the Aries in about 14 days or so. Your creativity may be off the charts and you nailed that project down to the one eighth of an inch. So it is time to show off your skills. Some of you may get unexpectedly pregnant. Did the ovulation calendar work? Take measures if that is not what you want. If you do, congratulations. Gemini, for you, you are air, you are mutable, and you are having some good energy with this. You will be affected in your fourth house of home and family. You may be working on a home project, renovations, painting, landscaping, or even preparing something for the family. Your assistance here is greatly appreciated. A cancer person may be part of this energy as well. Something is coming to an end, a culmination, or something needs to be addressed in this area. Siblings may be wanting to meet you soon or asking you when you can chat. I feel that Geminis are creating a new definition of family or one that is new for them. The family unit takes on a great significance as it relates to health, reputation, and daily duties. We are a family. We protect our family. Our family is healthy, vibrant, and supportive. This may also be an affirmation you want to include in your daily meditations. Cancer, for you, you are water, cardinal, and this aspect is positive. You will be affected in your third house of siblings, short distance travel, contracts, negotiations, social media, and possibly Gemini people. Finally, you get to see your sister or your brother. Plans are being made or discussed here. It sounds like a sibling has good news to share. Congratulations. It is quite unexpected, but you were feeling something was up anyway. Right, Cancer? There is a contract or discussions about contracts or negotiations on the forefront of your mind. The devil is in the details, Cancer, but you already knew that. There is something ending, culminating, or needing to be addressed here. Leo, for you, you are fire, you are fixed, and there is a bit of friction, especially internally. You will be affected in your second house of self-value and money you make from the company you work for or the business you own. A Taurus may have something to do with this energy for some reason, Leo. You kind of feel like you are getting the short end of the stick. Maybe you feel as though you are not appreciated enough or you feel like you work twice as hard as everyone else. Don't worry, the cycle will be ending soon. Why? Because someone who has an eye for the details, and this may be you, is going to bring it up. I am definitely sensing the March 28th 
through the April 4th timeframe for you as it relates to things being put back on the straight and narrow. Fair is fair. The truth is the truth, period. Virgo, for you, you've got Earth and you are mutable. And this aspect looks like it's going to be positive. You will be affected in your first house of identity. An Aries person may play a large role in something you need to address. Something is ending, culminating, or needs to be addressed regarding who you identify yourself as or associate yourself with on a personal basis. Pay attention to the other. If you have a Pisces in your life, they may mesmerize you or possibly need some attention. If you do, it is likely the cosmos will bless you with something great. All right. Anytime you have someone, uh, energy in your opposite sign, that's the person that you have got to be paying attention to. And right now, the sun is in your opposite sign. So there you go. It's in Pisces. Libra, for you, you are air. You are cardinal. So there's going to be a little bit of friction here. You will be affected in your 12th house of the past, the hidden psychic abilities, research hospitals, or even Pisces people. Something is happening here where you may need to lean on a Pisces or ask a Pisces to help you a favor. For some, you may have to swallow your pride as it relates to a Pisces person. There is something that you formulated in your mind about your past or a past event that may not have been accurate. Did you underestimate someone or something? Are you being asked to seriously consider what someone has to offer? For others, the 12th house also rules romance. Do you want to tell someone how much you care or even that you love them but can't get it out? No need to rush. Take your time. You will be presented with the right time in 14 days. Now, remember, guys, we do get affected with the full moon approximately three to four days prior and right on the day as well as 14 days later. This might be just a little bit more um, an extended time frame of the full moon aspect simply because it is a super moon. Scorpio, for you, you are water, you are fixed, and it does look like this is a good aspect for you. You will be affected in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, dreams, goals, networks, and associations, or even Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, or Venus person. In this case for Scorpio, well, you have lost people out of your life. Where did they go? Will I ever have my family, soul family, actual family, friendship tribe again? Celebrate the good times, come on. So you guys know the song. Yes, all that pain you went through was for a reason. You had to feel the pain in order to appreciate the joy. You had to lose in order to appreciate the gain. For some of you, this will happen on a small level, but for others, it will be big. In the next 14 days, you will have at least one person enter your family landscape, and well, they are a keeper. Even though you may be or you were cautious initially, you will start to feel more comfortable and open your heart. For some of you, you are going balls to the wall regarding a goal, or you are celebrating the completion of a long endeavor you have been working on. And last but not least, the beautiful Sages are beautiful archers. You are fire, mutable, and it does look like this energy will be good for you. You will be affected in your 10th house of status and career, or even perhaps a Capricorn person. If you have a couple of projects or clients in the hopper, you can now expect to see the fruits of your labor. The note to mention is to really pay attention to the details and be very organized. This way you should be ready for anything. Something about your status or career is changing, or perhaps even someone around you is changing their status or career. Either way, a Capricorn person may be assisting you in this area that has something that needs to be addressed, culminated, or finally ended. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there is your full moon transmission. So I hope that you like this reading. And I am going to get right into uh, the uh, weekly astro. I'm going to get into the weekly tarot and the extended tarot for my members. So thank you so much for all of your support, your continued support. I certainly do appreciate it. I wish you the best. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.